Maybe you're a little anti-establishment and you want to stand for something that represents hardworking, blue collar, no nonsense grit. And you want to stand with like-minded people. Or maybe you don't care about pop culture and social norms and you want to be your own person, to be unique and to stand out. Or maybe there's just something to this that draws you to it. There's an attraction there. You don't know what it is, but you just like it. And maybe, just maybe, your wife wants you to grow your hair out and it just seems like a good idea. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about a scally cap or a flat cap as you may know it. I saw these on my Facebook feed. A friend of mine liked their page and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, ooh, I like that. I showed it to my wife, no, I know. Showed it to my daughter, mm, that's kind of weird. But I just couldn't leave it alone. And then I found a couple of Facebook groups that had to do with scally caps. One was Boston Scally by Sell Trade and the other one was Scally Cap Mafia. And after thumbing through and driving Everybody around me crazy with, I think I'm gonna get this, I think I'm gonna get that, driving my wife bonkers, right? I finally settled on one. Now, why do I like scaly caps? For one, I'm not a sports fan. I don't care for baseball caps at all. I'm not, I just don't like the look of it. To me, they are way too casual. You can't wear them with a sweater. You can't wear them with dress shoes. A scaly cap, you can wear it both ways. You can wear it with blue jeans and work boots, or you can wear it with a suit and tie. It doesn't matter. It goes with everything. Two, not too many people actually wear a scaly cap. That kind of draws my interest a little bit more. I got my first one, but I was nervous. What would my wife think? This is how it went. If you don't like it, will you actually be honest with me? Maybe. Maybe? It depends on like the level of dislike. The level of dislike. Okay. All right. Is that daddy? Yes, it is. Is that daddy? <laughs> That is not the right. Okay, put it up. Right. Put it back down. No, that's not okay. Oh. Should I bend a little bit first? I think it needs to be bent. It's not as stiff as I expected. Please be the right size. Hey, yes, it doesn't fit as low as I expected. I expected it to fit lower. All right. You want to look at yourself over here? How do you like it? Does it feel good? It's instantly warm. It's nice. It looks nice. Does it? Yeah, I like it. Fast forward a couple of weeks. I've worn this hat every day. Now, just a couple of days ago, I took my wife out on a date. We got some frozen coffees. Seriously good. No, the cheesecakes are gone. We got some cheesecake. Those were mixed so well that it actually tasted really good, didn't it? It was pretty good. And we went to a thrift store and Hobby Lobby. Now the reason why I got the scally was because she wanted me to grow my hair out. And she's like, oh, don't put the hat on. I like your hair. Well, I already had it with me and I was about to do something. So I said, hey, can you hold it for me? She put my hat on. And then from that point forward, she wore it all day. Yeah, I want a purple one. Really? <laughs> one of those uh, purple ones that had the purple on them. No, 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 no. I have the hat for you. <laughs> I have the hat for you. Hold on a minute. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Oh, you look a lot like this one? Okay. Cool. Um, With a leather bottom? <gasps> she likes it so much, and I think she looks good in it that she wanted to get her own. So now I'm on the hunt trying to find the perfect scally to buy for her. I did find out that in these Facebook groups, these hats are treated like collectibles. They're treated like tennis shoes. People buy them, sell, limited edition, get them while supplies last. They even have pins that go with them. And a lot of these guys in the groups, they don't just have one or two hats. They have dozens. Maybe I'll just get two to three hats. I don't know. What I do know though, is I like it. It's comfortable, I think it looks sharp, and I'm gonna buy some more. Now, how does a scally cap represent the blue collar working class? And more specifically, the rough and tough, no nonsense crowd. Variations of these hats have been around for centuries. In 1571, Great Britain enacted a law saying that every man over the age of six must wear a woolen cap on holidays and on the Sabbath. And it was to promote the wool industry and trade. Every man must have at least one hat in his arsenal. And this law lasted from 1571 
1597. Popularity grew until they branched out into Ireland and Italy and even into Turkey to where the fez kind of got replaced with a flat cap. Now a hat is a symbol of identity. Who you are represents your status in society. So high society, they would wear something that had, let's say, a finer material like silk, like a bowler hat or a high hat, a top hat, to where the common people, they would wear something made out of wool and they would wear like a flat cap. High society though did start picking up on it and they started wearing the flat caps, let's say when they went out to ride a horse or if they were going to paddle boat or something of the sort. They might even make those hats out of a nicer material, but they would still wear a variation of them. I don't know if it was for comfort or for style, but what I do know is on a regular basis, when they were going out on the town, they're not wearing these hats because they represented the blue collar working class. And as they immigrated over to the States, they became dominant in New York and Boston and other regions like that. And I even hear stories to where Irish Americans wearing scally caps would make fun of another Irish American that was wearing a top hat because they took it as arrogance that you were flashing your status and your symbol to where a scally cap represented camaraderie of working in the trenches alongside one another. Now, is that a good explanation? I really don't know. I even heard one guy in a Facebook group saying that his dad did not let him wear a scally cap growing up because of what it represented and he wanted his boy to turn out right. So I guess apparently a hat was gonna be a bad influence or something. So there is a stigma to them, but it represents the working class, the hardworking blue collar. And I kind of like that. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it something that you would wear yourself? Let me know in the comments. If you're still here, thank you for watching to the end. And like always, stay diligent.